Now I promise you, this specific sound would never be possible without carefully layering all these synths together. Hello everyone, Dom here, welcome to Production Lab. In this video, I'm going to give you three techniques on how to create huge, larger-than-life synth sounds. Let's get started. Let's start with the first technique. I'm going to play this very simple synth sound that comprises of one oscillator with the analog synth layer in Halion 7. The first technique I'm going to show you has been employed by legendary synths of the 80s and it's called voice spreading. So what we're doing essentially is the synthesizer plays one voice on the left speaker and then the second voice that we're going to play at the same time is going to be played on the right speaker. In order to do this in Halion 7, the only thing I need to do is activate my amplifier section here. And you can see that the amplifier section appears down here. And now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of alternate pan. So let's go all the way up so that we can hear this in full effect. Now I can be subtle with this. Or I can go extreme. And this way we can already get a much wider, much bigger sound. The second technique that I'm going to show you we can use alongside the voice spreading technique that I just talked about and it's voice detuning. Now I'm going to turn the alternate pan off and I'm going to add a second oscillator. As you can see right here I have a sawtooth wave as well and the only thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to fine tune the pitch. Let's have a listen. It just sounds louder up to this point. But now if we start detuning the sound, now let's combine these two techniques and let's use the alternate panning as well. Now this is a very simple sound, but by using these two techniques it already sounds much bigger, wider, more three-dimensional. It almost sounds like we've added effects as well, so you might have this feeling that it has a little bit of chorusing or an ensemble effect, but it's pretty much simple detuning and voice spreading. And we can do this in Halion in just a few knob turns. I haven't even added reverb or anything like that, just two oscillators. Before I move on to the third technique, I want to show you something that exists pretty much on most Halion synth engines, and this is the multi oscillator. I'm going to turn off oscillator 2 so that you can hear that and I'm going to turn off the alternate pan as well. And I'm going to go back to my oscillator 1, dry. Back to simplicity again and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the multi oscillator and this allows us to clone this oscillator multiple times. We can detune it and we can pan it. So let's start introducing more voices. Let's have four. And now let's detune them.
So this is just one oscillator, no reverb, no chorus, no nothing. Just by using the multi oscillator. Now, if I want to add an extra layer, a little bit of candy on top, I can go to my mixer here and I can select my slot here and I'm going to add a nice reverb. Now, if I want to make the sound even richer, I can go back to my synth section here and I can add these two more oscillators. And maybe for oscillator three, I can go one octave higher. And just by using these very simple tools, I can get to a super massive sound. Now let's move on to technique number three. And this technique is layering. Now we all know that layering is a really powerful technique for drums. It's the same for bass sounds, but also for synth sounds like this. And it's exactly the same philosophy like layering drums. So in this case, my aim is that every layer contributes to a factor in the synth sound. So maybe one of the layers could be the attack of the sound. One of the layers could be the body of the sound. One of the layers would be the airy element of the sound. One of the layers would be the three dimensional part of the sound. So let me show you what I've done here. I have this analog layer. And now I'm going to layer it with more synth engines inside Halion 7. With Halion 7, we can have multiple synth engines playing at the same time. So the second synth I'm going to layer is an FM synth. And as you can see, I'm using the FM synth zone in Halion 7. Let's listen to how this sounds in isolation. <laughs> So this layer is a completely different synthesizer. It's an entirely separate synth engine. It's FM. And this layer gives me the attack portion of the sound. So it doesn't have too much going on in the body of the sound. It fades away quite quickly. There's a little bit of reverb that I've added, but that's pretty much it. And I also have a little bit of vibrato here. And the third layer is a wavetable layer. In this case, I have a very basic wavetable synth layer. Let's listen to it in isolation. So what this layer gives me is this airy quality, this three dimensional moving, swirling quality in the sound. So this doesn't have too much mid range. It's a little bit focused in the top end. And as you can see, I'm also using the multi oscillator here. Maybe I can reduce the number of voices. I don't need so many voices here. And now if we play all the layers together, we get a sound that sounds like this. Now I promise you, this specific sound would never be possible without carefully layering all these synths together. And if you think about it, these are just very simple sounds in their own right. So very simple. It cannot get more simple than this. The FM synth layer and the wavetable layer. But when you combine them,
So there you go. These are three techniques that you can employ to create huge larger than life sounding synthesizers. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this content like uh, sound design tutorials, music production tips and tricks, let us know by subscribing and hitting the like button below and also leave us a comment. What do you want to see next? I hope you have fun sound designing and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.